In the frozen silence of space, billions of miles from Earth, a machine built in the 1970s has just done something it was never meant to do. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object in history, has turned its sensors not forward, but back, toward us, toward the solar system, toward home. And what it found out there, what it sent back, has left scientists rattled, engineers puzzled, and astronomers stunned. This isn't just about distance, it's about the fact that something in the data Voyager 1 just transmitted contradicts our entire understanding of the space beyond our solar system. Magnetic fields, plasma waves, cosmic radiation, it all pointed to one reality, until now. And the most unsettling part? This discovery didn't come from cutting-edge tech. It came from a spacecraft using less computing power than your old digital watch, powered by a plutonium heart that's been fading for decades. And still, it has whispered back something we were never ready to hear. So, what did Voyager 1 just confirm? What is it about this silent signal that makes it feel more like a warning than a measurement? Join us on the enigmatic journey of why, as we delve into another mystery surrounding one minute ago. Voyager 1 just turned back and confirms what we all feared. It all began with a cosmic coincidence that would only occur once every 176 years. The perfect alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune allowed NASA to slingshot a probe across the solar system using gravity assists, a technique that would shave decades off its journey. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 wasn't built to last more than a few years. But here we are, nearly half a century later, and this tiny, outdated spacecraft is still going faster and farther than anything humanity has ever sent out. From flybys of Saturn's moons to jaw-dropping photos of Jupiter's swirling storms, Voyager 1 delivered some of the most iconic moments in the history of space exploration. But none of those compared to what it's facing now, because now it's not just traveling through space, it's venturing into a domain we were never meant to observe. A place where the sun's influence ends and something else begins. Voyager didn't just cross the heliopause, it disappeared into it, and what it found on the other side was far stranger than scientists predicted. Crossing into interstellar space was supposed to be a clean transition. The theories were confident. A sudden drop in solar wind, a shift in magnetic fields, a spike in cosmic rays. But when Voyager 1 crossed the boundary in August 2012, what it detected was confusing. Yes, the density of charged particles increased, just as expected, but the magnetic field, it stayed the same. That shouldn't have happened. The moment it exited the heliosphere, Voyager should have felt a new magnetic direction, one dominated by the galaxy, not the sun. Instead, it was like stepping through a door, only to find the same room on. The other side. And then came the whispers. Low-frequency plasma waves. Strange oscillations recorded by Voyager's remaining instruments hinted at pockets of energy, patterns, rhythms. It didn't sound random. It sounded organized, intentional. Some scientists proposed that Voyager hadn't actually left the heliosphere at all, that maybe the boundary is more complex, more chaotic, more intelligent than we ever thought. Years after crossing the heliopause, Voyager 1's instruments began transmitting data that didn't match any known profile. Background plasma noise suddenly began fluctuating, not from nearby stars or supernovae, but from a source that seemed to echo Voyager's own signal. This wasn't just static, it behaved like feedback. Something out there wasn't just receiving Voyager's signal, it was answering, but in a language of frequency, of wave patterns. Not in binary, not in radio. The implications were staggering. Could the interstellar medium, long thought to be silent and empty, actually react to what we send into it? Is space itself listening? Or worse, is something embedded within it? Some researchers dared to call it resonance. Others feared something far stranger. Either way, the Voyager team knew this couldn't be coincidence. This was new, unexplained, and it was getting stronger. And then, Voyager did something it had never done before. It paused. For nearly two weeks, the data stream became irregular. Not lost, not failed, just intermittent. As if the spacecraft was being interfered with, redirected, or repurposed. Some thought it was just an error in its aged software. But then, when the stream resumed, the instruments had shifted focus slightly off course, away from its path forward, towards something else. Somewhere along the way, Voyager had turned, 
not physically, but perceptually. Its sensors had reoriented toward a region behind it, the region it had come from, the solar system, and it sent back readings we can barely interpret. Energy fluctuations, particle density surges, as if something is waking up, right behind us. Voyager 1 carries with it the famous Golden Record, a message from Earth intended for any intelligent life that might one day encounter the spacecraft. Music, greetings in 55 languages, images of life on Earth, all carefully curated to represent the essence of humanity. It was a symbol of hope, curiosity, and trust in the unknown. But what if that message wasn't just drifting through space anymore? What if something already found it? After Voyager reoriented its instruments, NASA analysts noticed subtle changes in the electromagnetic noise surrounding the spacecraft. Patterns emerged, some eerily similar to the waveform modulations used in the Golden Records encoded audio. A rhythmic sequence, a mirrored pulse. It was as if the message had been acknowledged, reflected, or perhaps what they believe caused these anomalies. But among leaked internal reports, some scientists fear that our attempt to reach out may have triggered an awakening. We wanted someone to find it, but we never asked if they'd want to find us. Shortly after the turn event, Voyager's cosmic dust detector, long thought to be nearly useless at this distance, began logging unexpected impacts. Tiny particles, but too dense, too frequent, and moving at inconsistent speeds. These weren't interstellar dust grains drifting aimlessly. They were directed, clumped, structured. Instruments showed that the particles carried trace elements of exotic isotopes, some rarely found even in our own galaxy. It's as if Voyager had entered a pocket of space that wasn't entirely natural. The data sparked theories ranging from dark matter turbulence to artificial debris fields. Others raised the possibility that Voyager had brushed past something bigger the outskirts of a dormant structure too vast to fully perceive. Something ancient, broken, or waiting. Then came the unexplainable. After decades of perfect travel, Voyager's path, though subtle, began to shift. Not through thruster input, not through gravitational interference, but through an unseen pull. Despite being beyond the influence of any known planetary body, its trajectory drifted slightly, enough to alarm mission control. Simulations failed to replicate the movement without invoking external force, possibly electromagnetic, possibly gravitational, possibly deliberate. What would have the power to alter the course of a 720-kilogram spacecraft floating in the middle of nowhere? More importantly, why would anything want to? Voyager wasn't just turning its gaze, it was being drawn to something, or perhaps being summoned back. And then, through the last working plasma wave sensor, something came through. A drop in frequency, followed by a surge in amplitude. Not noise, not interference, a profile, one that matched no known celestial phenomenon. It wasn't a pulsar, it wasn't a star, it was undefined. But it had a pattern, a rising and falling sequence that repeated, then stopped. Some compared the signal to the rhythm of a heartbeat. Others saw echoes of seismic waves. But everyone agreed on one thing. It came from behind Voyager's current position, from the space it had already traveled through, from the direction it had turned toward. Was it a signal? A beacon? A trace of something moving slowly? invisibly, through the darkness? Whatever it was, Voyager 1, once a silent traveler, now a witness, has confirmed our deepest cosmic fear, that something else might be out there. And maybe, just maybe, it has already noticed us. Voyager 1 was never designed to be a sentry. It was told it to, but because something out there has pulled its attention. We once believed that space was silent, empty, unaware, 
but the data Voyager just sent back paints a very different picture. A universe where boundaries don't behave as expected, where signals echo without a source, where invisible forces shift the trajectory of machines and maybe destinies. The truth is, we never truly knew what Voyager would find out there. We never expected it to survive this long, and we certainly never imagined it would return our gaze. Not with photographs or coordinates, but with a warning wrapped in data, distortion, and silence. So what happens now? We wait. We listen. And maybe we prepare. Because if Voyager 1 just confirmed what we all feared, then this story isn't over. It's just beginning. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.